check one two one two what'd you just do my bad peace check 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 uh where peace. is rebecca oh wow holy wow shit. what a flip holy what a shit. flip careful man holy crap That's scary thank god that wasn't a baby <laughs> oh let's play a game iphone or baby i didn't Oh yeah, what was that joke all about? iPhone a baby? It sounded promising. But then was but it? didn't deliver. It's like a pure layer. Yo, why you gotta be hating, man? <laughs> Don't hate. I'm not recording. I'm not working here yet. I can hate all I want. Check, check. Yo, we're live. No, I... Well, on Periscope. Welcome to... Who's watching it? Rickshaw Rampage. <laughs> like, I was on. watching <laughs> it. Welcome to Rickshaw Rampage. Stop episode 24. I'm your host, Zolf the Wolf, with the, with the fabulous... Yeah, I'm fabulous. Well, why, why are you your name, guy. Fabulous. This is where you talk, talk about your name. Ask for Ali. Okay, like, <laughs> like people are like, "What's his last name?" When they're listening to this podcast, has it ever really happened? Yeah, has it? So you know, last night at the show, the comedy show, Natasha Kuja, one of her comedian <laughs> wow, friends. Just get, just get I'm in. just gonna get right into it. I'm yeah, just we didn't even say it's the so, rickshaw recall time. So he no, just is, oh, is it? Would this be a rickshaw recall? Yeah, I guess now. I guess because, yeah, rickshaw recall. What's up? What's I up, guess, Jeff? You're so anxious. You're not uh, even breathing there. You're like an American at a buffet. Breathe before you eat. Go. <sighs> so he talked oh, about how he met this like friend. Else. He met his friend after 15 years, and he explained him how do you how do. Uh, and his drink to mix up Fritopia and Sprite. So after the, after the show... Natasha well, Kuja is a comedian, right? Yeah, I already mentioned oh, okay, that. Good. And Ricardo Mejia uh, and myself, we we went to McDonald's. I'm a comedian. We, yeah, yeah, you guys are comedian. You got to share that, man. Like, I did. I said comedian. Ricardo Mejia is, Mejia's, is uh, like... my comedy brother. Okay, my comedy you brother. Go. You got to give the details to the uh, listeners. We, we went out to McDonald's. <laughs> we went to McDonald's. <laughs> what a surprise. And I tried. I tried the Fritopia and Sprite mix. And then the the guy behind the counter, oh, the so server. I'm so proud of you because you're so disciplined with your new health craze. No, <laughs> so the guy behind the counter, I was like talking to Ricky, and I was like, "Hey, I'm gonna try that." Is that Sakuja. the McDonald's? Yes, it in is. The it is. That's why. What a shameless plug. <laughs> so I tried to do the. I did the mix, and he told me exactly how much. He's like, "Yo, you gotta put in this much uh, Fruitopia, then this much Sprite, and then Fruitopia again." It's like it's the best thing ever. Well, this is a server. So good. The server behind the, the McDonald's. Gross. Yo, it was. It was like. It was. Uh, it was like a. It was like glove jam and juice. That's what it was. Oh, that's too sweet. It was so sweet. That's why I left it back there because I couldn't finish it. I was like, it's so sweet. I can't finish it. Can't finish it. It was. Uh, what it was... flavor was for the Fruitopia? Orange guy. You got to go with orange. It's like having um, a Fanta. Bro, I don't drink that stuff. Remember I told you? I know. You're on the whole. Glutose, the glutose. What? The whole I want to live longer than 40 type of tip or something? No. I... Man, you got you to gotta take care of yourself, man. I know. Man. I do. Especially now. After 40, yeah, man. Bro. Yeah. Take care of yourself. I Captain Crunch for breakfast. <laughs> but you have to take care of yourself I'll for lunch. I'll take care of you. Not that way. I don't need to take care of... Why, why do you always get on But look, thanks for looking out, bro. I appreciate that you're looking out for me. No, I don't know if I want to look out for you anymore. Because you're looking out for me in other ways that are making me feel very uncomfortable. So you guys, after that joke, all of a sudden you crave... Thank God... After the other material you didn't hear, you didn't crave something else because half the time they're talking about like dildos and everything. Yeah, yeah I know that was. It, <laughs> You're it, was, like, it was a fun. Hey, Ricky, life. you know what I'm feeling right now? Mm. What self hot dogs? Mm. No, man. Mm. Sprite and Fruitopia. <laughs> Sprite and Fruitopia. You know what? We wicked. We should get one out for our rickshaw rampage shirts and throw it in the back out there. So at least it, it advertises itself all the what? time in the background. So we'll have a background like a Sprite backdrop. Sprite Fruitopia. Why are we going to advertise something we're not getting royalties for? That's the dumbest no, idea. No, have Rickshaw Rampage shirt at the back so it's in the background, not for Topia. No one can see it. Yeah, you can. You can see the but, McDonald's cup there. Well, we just knew it was a cup until you shamelessly pointed to it and said that's a McDonald's cup. <laughs> it's a Fruitopia and Sprite mix. You probably didn't want to throw it away. Yeah, like I didn't want to. Off. <laughs> I, didn't you know, wanna, I, yeah, know, I hate ladies, wasting. Ladies, ladies. I hate wasting. Ladies, you know what's in the back seat? They're like, is that a baby seat? <laughs> no, it's a McDonald's cup. Talking about that. That, that might work in Oshawa if you're trying to pick up chicks. So this is what happens. So while, while, while we're outside just hanging out. there's a lot of trailer park trash at, there. At McDonald's. Continue. These two cuties came by. Uh -oh. They parked right next to our car. Oh, wow. Here they we walked go. in. Ronald McDonald they gave and us, Grimace. <laughs> they gave yeah. us the look and they walked in. And then I, I really had what to go. What do you mean they gave you the look? The look like, mmm. 
I've been Are you sure? Maybe you. they were a hundred. They all some became a 1990s hit reggae slow jam. So check this out. So I decided I wanted to go to the washroom really bad because I had to drop Ricky and go back home. Oh, you had to. Oh, I thought you were gonna actually gather the courage to use the bathroom. No. No, for number one. You know I can't do number two outside. Yeah, I know. We've had so, this talk. You'd rather do it in your pants. I'd rather I'd rather shit my pants, yeah. So I, I, I walk in and I walk into the ladies' toilet by mistake. And guess who's in the yeah, ladies' toilet? Sure mistake. Those two and I'm like, oh. Yeah, uh, sure mistake. I'm sorry. That's a good word. I'm sorry. And then I... Uh, I'm then, sure you were. How long did you realize that you were in the ladies' bathroom like before you apologized? a nanosecond, bro. Probably 32 a, a minutes. A nanosecond, just yeah. Just staring at them. Just, I just went, I'm like, oh, my bad. Were they in the middle of anything no, at that they, point? No, they, they didn't catch them? Could you imagine if they were having a lesbian act? I would be like, mm. <laughs> After watching all the Game yeah, of Thrones, a, I would have been like, oh, yeah. That's a good way. Let's get it on. That's a good way to not draw more attention in that situation. Yeah, so I would just be like, I just want to watch. <laughs> <laughs> McDonald's pervert. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine the McDonald's creep? No, but I apologize. I'm like, I'm, I'm so sorry. I thought it was What did a, they say? Did they scream? Nothing. They're just like, oh, they're just like what? They oh, just looked at me. I'm like... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm in the Take wrong toilet. Take me now, sir. No, why would they? Did they? Why would they have a dude? Who, I don't know. It's not like uh, Hannibal Harris at the, at the toilet, at the Take Wendy's toilet. Down. So that's it. Yeah. You, was... you just and then after that you just. Go, oh, then I can't go do anything for Ricky, right? Because Ricky's like, yo, they're really cute. Hey, what though? They're really cute. Not that he really speaks like that, but yeah, why does Ricky <laughs> speak like he that? He doesn't. He's gonna. He's gonna kill me when he sees me. <laughs> By the way, I, I saw the shirt you were wearing. Pretty cool, man. What shirt? Your shirt you're wearing? I actually want to go with the... <laughs> I'm wearing a sweater, bro. I was going to say something nasty, but screw it. I'm wearing a sweater. I was just going to be like, hey, is that from Valley Village? <laughs> Yo, this is the DKNY sweater. I'm wearing... That's it. Let me break it down. DKNY sweater I'm wearing right now, DKNY. Bro. Not DK fan, bro. <laughs> DKNY. The, the, the knockoff. DKNY. Hey, who wants the DK fan? <laughs> DK like, fan. I want the DKNY. DK fan's a, a funny comic. He's, he is. He's, a, he's, he's a, Asian. We don't know what type yet. No, he's Vietnamese. Vietnamese. He's Vietnamese, Chinese. Yeah. He's, he's, no, he's Vietnamese. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, Chinese yeah. in his jokes. He's Vietnamese in real life. He's Korean when he's eating. Like, the guy's hey, so confused. Hey, stop it. Don't make jokes. Not funny. That's not Korean. I, I don't know. I can't. I can't do it. I can't. That, I don't know. Did I you say your wife? I'm confused. My wife's chi quarter are Chinese. Sure? What do you mean quarter Chinese? What does she have, like... She gives you fortune cookies for dinner. I understand how she a quarter Chinese. No, she's already told me my fortune. Oh, yeah. The future is bright. Oh, God. It's so bright. This is a good thing comes in small packages. That's probably what your fortune cookie said. What? But what is... Why you got a this one? I'm just saying... <laughs> That's, That's just weird. jokes, I buddy. That, I know your wife. Yeah, Snicker. I know your wife it's just would never jokes. say that. It's like Snicker. Yo, Ricky said that you're fun. You're not fun size. You're bite size. <laughs> but a, you know what? The yo, Ricky, is that How does he know that? Hey, what the Ricky? How does he know that? How does he know you have? A maybe bite you're 100 percent Asian because you got the Asian genitals. Maybe that's why your wife was attracted to you. What? Why you got it? I don't know. I'm that's just like straight up. I know. I don't hey. understand. I don't understand how your hey, wife's according you to Chinese. Yo, her grandmother was Chinese from China. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. She's got. She's got yeah. cousins back home. Back home where? Like in China. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I meant in China. <laughs> back home, as for in Markham. Oh, okay. That doesn't make her. It's North York. Chinese, by the way. bro. <laughs> no, so she's her grandmother was from chi from China. <laughs> and uh, she's got cousins. Okay, in okay. China. I, I, I might have to go on ancestry.com to prove you wrong, right here. I need. Hey, I, need I to went to ancestry.com. Guess what I found out? Oh God! What? Well, here's another sexual innuendo. No, go ahead. sex in your endo. No, <laughs> that. Oh, gross! I'm gonna do a Joe Joe West joke here. It's like, oh He's my, another comedian. All my ancestors. I don't know how are... you said Joe West and then you said joke right after. This is <laughs> That's an oxymoron. Continue. Right? <laughs> Stop hating, bro. He's a nice guy. All, all my all my ancestors are dead. Is that the joke? That was the joke. <laughs> That's why I told you it was Joe West. I gave the disclaimer before, man. Uh, you should have known what was coming. I wasn't prepared for that. Oh, uh, yo, what's up? your rickshaw recall, man? I went to a baby shower this week. What? Yeah, it was my sister's friend. She was a little. She was one of those people who were like, let's go to this baby shower, but we got to be out of there by 9.30 because baby showers are the worst because they're all about babies. And I was like, oh, cool. I was, I thought guys are supposed to be anti-baby shower. Yeah. I was just like, yo, let's go. It's fun. It's your friends. They're cool. We're going to have some fun. She's like, I don't even know why they invited you. And I'm like, okay, that's kind of rude. Because they're funny. How about that? That's kind of rude. And I was kind of confused. I'm like, 
should I go to the baby shower now? I'm so confused. My sister was making me feel like I shouldn't. So then I was, okay, then I'm like. Yo, did you take a gift? Yeah. So me and my sister went half on a gift. You because didn't go half. So you're like, what are you buying? I just put my name on the card. Uh, afterwards. <laughs> I carried it in. So DTP. Like, no, I carried it in. So I did my part. Okay, you did. Yeah, so okay. it doesn't matter. They'd be like, who bought it? But whoever carries it looks like they bought it, They right? bought it. Absolutely. So that's the policy. Absolutely. And so we're, we're going there and I'm like, yo, Zreen, let's carpool. And she's like, no, I'm not going to carpool with you. I'm like, oh my God. She's like, I'm going to leave after. And I'm like, oh my God, we're not even going to go down well, together. Yeah. Why? Are you, yeah. I, so she had to, she wanted to go back to her apartment. She's staying at her house just for a couple of days. So we're driving down there. This is the best. She's like, follow me. I know where it is. So I'm following her. Yo, she she goes run. straight past the place. <laughs> I make a left. She pulls this crazy Dukes of Hazard U turn. Nah, 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 nah. And she follows me. And I was like, Zareen, this is where she's she like, oh, I know where it is. So then we walk in. And I'm carrying the gift. I'm carrying the gift. And I feel so embarrassed. Let me ask the, you, what was, the, what was the gift? It was a whale shaped tub. So it was the best because I saw all the gifts in the corner. They were wrapped. And everyone's like, Couldn't you wrap it? And I'm like, Listen, if I wrapped a whale-shaped tub, you would know it's a whale-shaped tub anyways. Absolutely. That, right? make, that makes solid sense. Right? That so makes go, solid sense. And plus, it would have cost more. Of right? course. So we yeah. had a budget. I know. You're packy. Right? So we were excited because our gift was big. It was it was the size of maybe a whale. Right? So baby our gift whale? was big. And we put, yeah. Did, a baby, did they have a name a, on it? Like but a baby, dick? Baby, no, I wouldn't do that. That's, that's <laughs> again, right? There's auntie and uncles here, bro. You're a dick if you write Moby Dick on the gift. So we get in there, I put my gift down, and I'm so happy. I'm like, this is the biggest gift. I turn around, this person's like carrying a box. Like, remember the. Oh my God. Remember Don't like the, Egyptian, got a stroller. the Egyptians when they're building the pyramid, yeah, they're yeah, carrying yeah. the heavy blocks, and just unloads it. And I was like, oh my God, that's gonna be uh, a big ass segue, stroller. A segue for babies. <laughs> or so, the minute I said stroller, I sit down at my table, and people are like, thank God I didn't get a stroller, because they're $700. I'm like, Seven hundred dollars? Like, what kind of strollers are these? How much was a stroller when you had to buy it for your kids? You really want to know? Free. Three hundred. Three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars of holy so, smokes! So, just just to pause pause your story there, my buddy bought for his first oh, son man. his his newborn. Is it a bulletproof one? A thousand dollars. Oh my god! And this is what he, this was his explanation. Each wheel, Duh. four wheels. Each wheel had their own suspension Rims? suspension setting. And it could actually spinners? come out. No, no spinners. And it could. It, it had an automatic lock in case it was going down a slope hill. Like if you would leave it, it had a lock in Why your hand. Why would you? That's neglectful parenting. Yes, it had a lock. In case it's going down a slope <laughs> hill, what are you doing on a slope hill to begin with with a child? Wait, you, you got to hear this more. It, it would turn into like a, a car seat, which was which which is wicked. Now it is detachable. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, so then it's cheaper. And, and it was it was a bassinet, which and you can it would carry breastfeed the baby. It wouldn't do that. No, it wouldn't okay. do that. But. It was. Oh, so now it, it's it looked more. really comfortable. Oh, so it now looked. it's more than a stroller. But they were telling me prices for just a stroller. Yeah, it's, it's about that much, three four hundred dollars, bro. But no, seven. That's why is flag. it that's so crazy. much? That's crazy, bro. I bought I, the strollers my kids going nowadays. It's like from Walmart for fifteen bucks. My children, if I have any, are traveling in shoe boxes. <laughs> they better not grow. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, I'm like, there's holes on this box. Be quiet. <laughs> but you know what made the night is. So we were just sitting there socializing. I realized we were the rowdiest table, my sister and her friends. It was so bad that we were playing this game. It was called Baby Jeopardy. So during the game, they had a care category, and I had a Zolf moment where I was like, I'll take celebrity momas. And they're like, it's mamas, you rap. I'm like, <laughs> I've been hanging around Zolf too much. They're like, who's Zolf? I'm like, once you meet him, you'll understand. You'll understand so everything. I'm like, celebrity mamas. So the... They they obviously in Jeopardy they give the answer so the answer was uh, N Nyla right and I was so stupid I was about to stand up and go who is the Lion King and my sister luckily grabbed you grabbed my arm and put it back and she's like let me get this and she's like who is Halle Berry I'm like oh my god I was so embarrassed and then they had the last one so we were neck and neck with the team the team didn't really care who we were competing against because they're like we have a life and there's no prizes and we were like we have pride. And we're packies. So we were neck and neck. The last question was uh, celebrity babies. Okay. And it was, who was the baby from Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? Right? So then I was about to say something. And then my sister looked at me and she's like, Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. And I was like, what are you doing? Are you trying to hypnotize me? I was like, no, it's, she's like, shh. 
it's Nikki, right? <laughs> and then the guy's, what's your final answer? And I'm like, it's... And then my sister yelled, Nikki! And then he's like, you're right! And then she went crazy. And we were celebrating. <laughs> we turned around and everyone was like, what's wrong with these people? Who invited them? Oh my God. Yeah, and then what was worse is they actually gave a prize, but there was only one prize! So we had to compete against each other. $10 gift card? No, I don't know. It was something that looked like... This was hilarious. It looked like dirty diapers wrapped in Christmas wrapping. And some some female on our team won it. Oh, okay, that's cool. But the food there was insane. It was international what was it? cuisine. It was in a recreation center, where I'm sure Rick, Ricardo will do a comedy show. But it's a recreation center <laughs> in Mississauga. No, because it was a nice setup. Oh, is oh okay that way. And, and they had a theme too. The theme was because the the expected mother. Oh, nice. She's an air stewardess, so the theme was like travel and cargo. So they had like music from different countries, and they played this one game. And I didn't want any piece of this. So they were bringing around a string. And oh, then you got to guess how, how big the girl is? Yeah. yeah so the I did mom, it. The expected like, mom is, yeah. And they're like, are you sure that's your final guess? I'm like, no, this is for the husband. Um, this is for the husband. Oh! Like, oh <laughs> no, because the husband looked like he was sharing the pregnancy. Oh, my. But you know that happens, right? That looks like you. Sometimes I'm just like, what oh an asshole. God. What an asshole. <laughs> I'm like, Zolfa's still trying that's, to lose that pregnancy are you, weight. Are you be talking to my wife because those are jokes she cares. She cares are you serious? Those, yeah. Yo, your wife should be writing my material. She's funny. She's, 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 she says like, that stuff? She's like, how, how many months now? It's been like four years. Oh, no. <laughs> are you growing a baby elephant what? in there? <laughs> Why don't you tell those jokes on stage? You're pretty better better than the ones that <laughs> Such a fucker. <laughs> no, but that's pretty funny. Come yeah, on. Yeah. But would you get? Would you take it personal? No, bro. Because you, you were you were we, making jokes. Just, yo, I, this will make you feel better. So when you're on stage yesterday and you said you were forty, the host looked at me and he's like, "40." I'm like, "Yeah, man." I'm like, "Zolf looks like he's like in his early 30s. He's like, "I would have never guessed he's 40." So there you go. Everyone says that. Oh bro. man, thanks. I appreciate that. Ed. You're but you got that Asian genes. <laughs> That's no, for that sure. is uh, my uh, gangster day. <laughs> you know, let your wife and your daughter, let your daughter teach you facial expressions and your wife write your material. Oh, here we go. Oh, Yo, so I got, I got Rickshaw Review. Yo, madness. Yo, don't ruin it, eh? Because I know what you... Madness. I'll call you out to the FBI. <laughs> I, you can't because you're... I have you're, the USB key. We'll both go in. Yeah, you're right. At least the Lucy crack jokes inside for prison. Yo, guys, you're I was... something else. I don't know why nobody ever told me this series was this mad crazy. I watched Game I of Thrones. I did too. I watched... Uh, no, hang on. Oh. I'm still talking. Game of Thrones. No, I'm not, not going to talk about it. I'm going to... I'm just going to say... Season one. Game of Thrones... I crushed seven oh, episodes. This is like in an two unfinished days. business review. No. Yeah, well, obviously, I'm not going to give it away because you haven't seen it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I saw seven episodes in two days. I've crushed him. I think that's I'm not finish. a review. This is just like no. a confession. Confession. A rickshaw yeah. review. It is mad, crazy, addictive. If you're not on the I Game th of Thrones board. I think board, that's what they say. According to critics <laughs> and awards. <laughs> so that's already been validated. Say something new. <laughs> Uh no yeah no it is true because you know, so, after them you so read let, it. Me, let me let me ask you this if Game of Thrones ends tomorrow yeah are you gonna be depressed no, for the I'm, next I'm year? never one of those guys bro when Breaking Bad ended I wasn't depressed but you told me you went in your basement and you started trying to make crystal meth no I said I used to watch it in my oh, base basement okay. because of oh, all I the got scenes you see, yo because watching that's scenes why I started putting my kids to bed early like at eight thirty so then I can watch and crush. Dad's gonna go to bed. What's, oh, what's man. wrong? Dad's going to watch All, all I'm going to tell you is one word. Khalees. Oh, my God. She is the so... The rapper? No. She is so... Is she her Season boy. one is amazing. It's so... Bro, it's like one of those... You know, it's one of those shows like what, it just ends and you're like, Oh, my God. I want to know what happens next. Click. <sighs> next episode, bro. It is I felt that addictive. way every Saturday morning when I watched Saved by the Bell. Or every, or if you when you watched Once Upon a Time. Oh, no. I'm so ashamed. I can't even watch so it I want, now. So I, wanna, I want you to hacked. crush. I want you to crush at least four episodes for our next review and oh, give me your opinion. Oh, someone's saying Aziz and sorry, Master of None. Someone just posted something about that. What is uh, it, Zolf? Uh, Jeff saying, "Have you seen Mas Aziz and Sorry, Master of None?" We already yeah, finished that. Yeah, we already talked we about it. We're not about, too. You know keep what? up with the reviews, Yo, guys. We, we were we were talking about that at the baby shower, and to be honest, they're kind of right. Like, it's okay. You know what? You no, know what I compared not, it to? It, you know what I compared it to? And this is right. It's like. Uh, Seinfeld because Aziz Ansari is not the strongest actor. Everyone else is. But kind his of writing him. skills are amazing. Yeah, they are. He's got great writing yeah. skills. Because the, his weird friend in it's amazing. That, yeah, the, Ravi Patel. 
No, yeah, he's good. No, but the the creepy tall guy with the glasses. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know what he's his name hilarious. is. He's pretty funny. Yeah, he's pretty funny. So I'm gonna start Game of Thrones this week. Why not tonight? Tonight? I don't. I feel like I just become like a slob. Bro, then watch Game of Thrones because it'll change your. It's, it's gonna change your perspective. Better than Spartacus. All I'm gonna, gonna say is, guys, winter is coming. It probably is because it's Canada. Winter is coming. You'll know the reference when you watch oh, Game of Thrones. I don't know if I want to watch it anymore. Something else looked like it was coming. I should call the police. What? That was kind of scary. The way you were doing that thing with your hand. Okay, time for Rick Sharan. Oh, let me do my Rick Oh, your review. review. Your Rick review. Oh, yeah, you, you watch something too. <laughs> it's very, very rare <laughs> for watches TV. Uh, let me see here. Look, I can't even remember what I watched. So I watched... Nothing. I just opened the file and it said God, which is Game of Thrones. Which means I gotta, <laughs> I gotta watch it. Yeah, you do. So I thought you said you watched something called Chopped. Yeah, I was watching some cooking shows yesterday. And I was watching, uh, have you seen the guy who goes around and he's got the tattoos and his hair spiked on the Food Network? With the, with the, with the goatee? Yeah, yeah. With what's the, his name? Oh, what does he do? Man. He goes around and he, he does that. He did also Minute to Win It. He, he hosted yeah, that yeah. show as well. So he is a, a grown guy or something? Yeah. Whatever, okay, yeah. Guy <laughs> Ritchie. Guy, no. no, that's Madonna's husband, ex-husband. Yeah, anyway, you know. We, we you never know. have validation. No, yet. don't. So here's another show where they go uh, to a grocery store, and they have to go shop, and they have to buy things. So yesterday was a Christmas theme, and this one lady, this black lady, she made, Chris, she made Christmas Captain Crunch chicken with chili. What? And it looked pretty, because, so this was the theme. It's Christmas, so the host, Guy, gave them... Christmas condiments to cook with. Okay. So that's what she picked. And how did it taste? What was his review? Uh, they said it was good. They you said, didn't watch the whole thing, did you? <laughs> I was, uh, yeah, you're right. I, I, I lost my <laughs> no, interest after two I minutes. I know how you are, No, bro. you know what happened? Because I get, you know, my girl said it yesterday. She's like, the Food Network Whoa, was Whoa, hang on. To... Did you say you your girl? Yeah, so she said <laughs> she said the Food Network is like porn to me. Because every time I To was you watching... or to her? No, to me. Because when I was watching, I was like, oh, that looks good. I'm like, I would love to eat that. And she's like, <laughs> she's like, what's wrong with you? She's like, you're more interested in, more interested in this than me. And I'm like, yeah, but look at it. Because then we were watching. But the presentation is, so you're like me. For me, no, if the food no. presentation is no, perfect, it, good. it will look good. Because then it we watched that, good. who's that, Bobby Flake dude? Yeah. He was making something, bro. And he turned something that looked into bird shit into the shit. Like, it was like some but holiday how did it sauce. Taste? Eggs. I don't know, it's all because I don't get to eat it. <laughs> no, right? They do the reviews. Huh? You, didn't, you, didn't, you were biased on the reviews? Yeah, no, but I want to taste it. And the thing is, there's no halal cooking show, so it's just torture. I just sit there and I'm like, I can never eat this. I go, ham looks good now to me. Ham looks delicious. Honey ham. Yeah, honey ham. I don't care, bro. Honey ham <laughs> is my honey. Like, it, look, it looks so... He made this, like, uh, corned beef. Holiday egg sauce and just the presentation, the way they yeah, make the it, presentation is like half the job, man. It, it looks, you don't it even want to eat it. It looks so good, like that Cake Boss, that guy. Oh, oh I, I used to watch. That. That. I love that show, Cake is that, Boss. Is huh? that the same thing as Cake Wars or Cake Wars is different? Oh no, so he hosts Cake Wars also. He so host, Cake Wars he's is a where judge they go in head to head. Yeah, they and then they make like um like crazy themes like uh, Halloween and all that stuff. They did some amazing stuff. Quick fact about Chopped and the reason I I brought it up is my sister's friend Roshni won a season of it and she was in season five or six of hell's kitchen and it was the best her name was roshni but gordon ramsay for the life of him could not pronounce her name so every time he was mad at her he's like he's like roshani he's like yes <laughs> but she was so polite she wouldn't correct him she's like that guy he's like that guy you work with like they never pronounce his name right oh yeah but yeah my yeah. neuron or whatever my, Myron. Yeah. Like, and he's like, his name is Mayuran. Yeah. Yeah, but she would never correct him just out of courtesy. See, that's brown people. Is she brown? Roshni. Yeah. yeah, clearly. Yeah, yeah brown people. He's don't like do that. cockroaches. She's like, yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> like, she was so obedient. By the way, I also watched, uh, and I dozed off watching this uh, train wreck, so I got to go watch that. Oh, how could you fall asleep? That movie looks so funny. Bro, it was uh, It was on. Ugh, I was just so tired. How'd you get like, that? You... Oh, I don't want to. Don't, don't ask. Don't ask questions on how I got it. But I, but I was like, what I have it. Handcuffs off? Yeah. <laughs> right now? I'm sorry, guys. I can't no, move no, my my left off. hand. Yeah. No, no, I don't need it because you're my dealer. <laughs> <laughs> you're my, you're my uh, GOT dealer. You're my GOT. So yeah, dealer. train wreck. I have it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rewatch it again because I, I think the wifey saw it and I dozed off and then she. Did she like, like it? I heard it was she, I, I didn't, I didn't have. She told me it's, it's worth it. She's like, watch it. It's really funny. But I didn't because, uh, and she's like, because we have seen Amy Schumer's uh, show, like her special. So she's like, there's a lot of references that she understands now because. Whatever she does on a stand, she's actually made it into a story 
in, in uh, train wreck. So she's like, there are a lot of references to it. You no, know so. it's a good role in that. LeBron James, yeah, the king. Yeah, yeah. I heard he is a Yo, fan. he signed. Did you hear what he signed yeah, right now? Yeah, lifetime guarantee. Oh, my Nike. God. Plus that $60 million Nike just yeah. investing in that app for with him. Oh, my God. That guy's that guy's, that guy's made for life. He's milking it, but he's not better than Jordan. So, I don't know why he's getting bro, afforded Jordan, these see, luxuries. Bro, it's like this. See, Arnold Schwarzenegger won uh, Mr. Olympia seven times, right? Lee Haney came in and won it eight times. B broke his record. Are you but, serious? Yeah, bro. You can Google that fact. No, but, but how many but, but, people but, remember but, Lee Haney? No, but how many people no, remember Arnold like, Schwarzenegger? It's like impact. So what impact will they have over a lifetime? So everyone's gonna remember Arnold Schwarzenegger because of movies, acting, and the way he brought the attention. This guy broke his record, but he he didn't leave a legacy. The, that's like, absolutely Schwarzenegger right. Schwarzenegger left a legacy. Of course, and, and he, that's what Jordan. And then left. it's always like this, right? Are you gonna remember, are you gonna remember LeBron James in like twenty years? No, it's always gonna no. be maybe for just, me. Maybe, for me, maybe it was Black always three months. Maybe, maybe. That's it. <laughs> for me, it will always be Jordan, bro, because that was my era. Maybe for my kids, I don't I, know, bro. I mer I remember Kareem Abdul-Jabbar more. Than oh my god, Michael Jordan. Did you talk about Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? Did you see what uh, Donald, Donald Trump? Yeah, that's my rant, bro. Oh, is that your rant? Okay, I don't want to. So let's go, Rick Show rant, guys. Here we go. No. You go, no, no, my, my rant. I want to do no, this. No, no, you're first. Yo, no, because yours is always more uninteresting. So go ahead. <laughs> yours is like I'm sick and tired of people who put down the window when it's not even cold in the car or hot in the car. Yo, bro, my Rick Saran is. I hot. hate it when people change the radio station and I'm like, See, hey, I don't even want to listen to the radio. Okay, I, being a Muslim. I love Christmas. I love oh. the whole environment of Christmas, the, the Christmas tree decorations. I love that whole culture. You know, last year we had a tree and everything up. I know this guy wasn't a real Muslim. Here's here's the it thing. Only matter of times he cracked. <laughs> this guy comes to Canada. Listen, bro, you don't have to blend in. Like you can keep some of your originality here, bro. That's why I changed my name with stage name yeah, with X, right? So you with guys an X, you're it. Asian. You really are Asian. <laughs> So it's Zolf, but pronounced with an X. Because <laughs> X marks the spot. Booyah. X-Zolf? Anyway. <laughs> That's what James was saying. Yo, how do you pronounce your name? Uh, x -Zolf? Like uh, Oxyclean? Uh, what is it? I'm like, man, just let it go. Yo, this is my rant, right, guys? This is it. I'm, I'm, <laughs> this is just, it's funny. It's childish. Uh, guys, what? don't what don't decorate your car as a oh. freaking reindeer oh, okay. with a freaking good. nose in the front. That's good. Reindeer on the side. It's not a freaking. It's not. What a, makes a your Kia? your Porsche Cayenne is not a freaking reindeer, guys. What makes a Kia shittier is when it's dressed up as a reindeer. <laughs> as a reindeer, guy, the red nose in front, and then you know it's like guy. I told you, I'm all about the Christmas spirit. I love Christmas so much. Like we have a tree up and everything. We do the whole practice. Are you serious? Oh yeah. Last year we gave a gift to my kids and. You know, we gave out money to my like gift to my nieces and everything because you know we we want the kids to learn the culture, Hello? right? This is the Islamic Foundation. <laughs> yeah, get him. He's got a tree. Get him. So, but this year we're not doing it because so, you know it's going to be oh, one year for my dad's only dad anniversary, right? So we're not doing it this year. But the whole point was, guys, get rid of that reindeer and <laughs> the antlers. The freaking red nose. Your car ain't freaking rolled off. What if your wife said you had to do it? For no, I ain't. No, yo. You put your foot down. No, hell yeah. Yeah, you're hell you're to the yeah. yeah. What is she? I'm saying? like, I ain't driving. You want to do this? You're driving this. You're driving your Dodge Caravan. I think you who would thinks in. that? It, no, I think I think you would. I would sit in the passenger seat, but I will not drive that car. No way. Hell's to the no, guy. Yeah, man. I it's, seem like guys. Please grow up. Please don't do that. Don't do that. You're just making you look like yourself look like an idiot. You're right. What makes a Kia even more shittier? But you know, that, that, the thing is, Kia is okay. You know, it's a good car. It's a good car. Porsche if Cayenne. You're poor, if, you're poor. if you do it to a Porsche Cayenne, guys, what are you doing to yourself? It's like having it on a Bentley. Why would you do that? Yeah. Why would you do that to your car? I never. And it's not even a rent. It's like it's just what it's like a PSA, guys. Please don't do that. Why please. do people do that? Do they just want to say to the world, "I'm a loser" publicly? I think it's more like they want to show that they're part of the Christmas spirit. But great, you know, hang an ornament on your on your uh, rear view mirror or whatever. But but you know what's sadder? Is that there's somebody who came up with the idea and they're profiting off of that? It's like when that guy came up in Dragon's Den with the eyelashes for the oh, for the headlights. Did you see that one? Oh my god, maybe we can do it for Eid. What are you gonna hang out? Stars goats? and the moon? Goats? I goats? Don't goat heads? Goats? Go goat heads on as an ornament? Buckra Eid? I don't, I'm to, I don't Yo, know. Yo, anyway, do your rant because I know what's coming up. Yo, do it. Do your rant. So you know what? I came home yesterday from a comedy show, and I turned on the television. And for someone who likes Christmas, I hate it. But the only thing I could watch because my Netflix is down, I had to watch this thing called Cookie Christmas Cookie Cut or something. And it was the most saddest thing I ever was watching in my life. And I asking myself why I was watching it. But then I flipped the channel and I saw a news report about Donald Trump's comments yesterday about Muslims. 
and how he was outraged and has just lost his shit and says that American Muslims should no longer be allowed to, what was he saying, to travel? Oh no, no Muslims should be coming yeah, into US. No, no Muslims should be coming into US and we shouldn't trust them anymore. And it, it, it's it's time to be scared of them, right? He basically, he's basically saying that Muslims, they can't be trusted, that they're all terrorists. He's painting the same, with the same brush. So the thing that made me upset was like, this is someone that's been blessed with so much business sense, but lacks common sense, <laughs> right? And the only, listen, if we were allowed to let that hair piece travel in to the United <laughs> States of America, then I think we should openly realize that what's happening right now with ISIS and all these other terrorist groups are isolated incidents and they're not a representation of a common day Muslim, oh, such absolutely. as myself or Zul. Well, I thought Zulf was Muslim until the Christmas speech. <laughs> absolutely. But, you know, he wants to stay in this country, so he's got to do what he's got to do. So, so I ate bacon today, but it was turkey. It so, was turkey. I tried so, to fool some people. So here's the thing. I don't know if you know this, but I was checking out the news. This, I, was, I was having lunch at Royal Jasmine. That's right, bragging. Uh, the city, the, the oh, Toronto. Did you have fried food again? Yes. Toronto city councilors. Here, here's the real terrorist After his attack. comment last night, Toronto city councilors are uh, putting up a bill to change Trump Tower, the name of Trump Tower in Toronto, because they're like, we can't be associated with this bigot. But, but, Zolf, do you think this is just some kind of and that's publicity just stunt? Well, hang on, check this out. So Obama yesterday said all, exactly what you just said, right? I like, think it is. all the Muslims are not the same. This is just a small minority. They are making a big yeah. hoo-ha about it. These are isolated incidents. And he's like, majority, some of the Muslims are our sports heroes. So Donald Trump tweeted saying, who oh, yeah, are our, who are the Muslim superheroes you're talking about? And Kareem Abdul Jabbar? Sure. Muhammad Ali, they retweeted Mike, his Mike, tweet. Mike Tyson, Mike, Yeah, they retweeted his tweet, really Mike Tyson. which was hilarious. You know who would who I, whose tweet I want to see at this point? The Iron Sheik. I want to know what he's saying about he this. Muscle? Yeah, isn't he? Oh my God! I don't think <laughs> this guy's dumber than Donald Trump. This guy makes Donald Yo, Trump looks like a I'm genius. Gonna, I want to check this out right now. Hang oh, on, bro. This I'm is this is this sure. is going down right now. No, I think you're going down as usual, Zol. <laughs> the Iron Sheik. What does he say? Oh my God! I'll break your back and then humble you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He, he, he drops an F-bombs. Yo, bro, he drops Ebola tits once he's like, Manny Cyrus, you <laughs> oh, have yeah. Ebola tits. I was like, oh my God, did he just say that? Zolf, I, I know you're wrong. There's no way he is. I think he's Christian. 100%. Yeah, but do we really want him representing? The Iron He Sheik. makes ISIS look a little normal, bro. He does. Uh, he's, he's not, bro. He just, just he, give it bro, up. he's just saying, fuck Mondays. <laughs> is he? The Golden State impressed me. No beer, jabroni. Happy, happy birthday to the intelligent Jew, Jay Z. This... All right, Zolf, we're on a live uh, periscope here. You're just ignoring your. Oh, there's no one there. Oh, Mark Zuckerberg, why... I break your fucking neck. I don't know why he's saying all this. Good night, Jabroni. Fuck the Charlie Brown Christmas. All right, guys, you know what? I'm going to have to wrap it up because there's no way <laughs> Zolf can find out if he's right. And he probably isn't. All right, guys, this is a wrap. Uh, I'm your host, Zolf the Wolf. I'm Usfer. Peace.